Welcome back, everybody, to Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are picking up right where we left off. It has literally only been a couple of seconds since I left you in the last episode. Uh, we are live streaming this today, of course, too. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, if you didn't catch the last episode, basically, we just purchased our first horse uh, from the stables in Valentine. I, I'm not real impressed with the horse's stats or description based upon the Tennessee Walker that we've had, you know, from the beginning. But, you know, I'm just kind of following the quest at this point. We need to stick with this horse. Uh, and it's, by the way, the horse's breed is a Morgan. Um, so we need to stick with this horse at least to finish out this quest. And then if I still decide I don't like it, by the time we have the opportunity to go back to camp, we're going to switch back to the Tennessee Walker if it's even there. I'm not even sure if it's still going to be there. Um, I'm almost wishing I would have kept that big, you know, that big, um, the draft horse. Uh, I can't remember what it was called now, but, you know, the big draft horse instead of this. But, you know, we, we, we've made our bed, so we have to sleep in it now and uh, continue on. So we are following Hosea, and we're going to, going to go hunt a big bear. So let's do this. How are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year. Jose, he ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Yeah, it was a shire horse, exactly. Running sniper. off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. <laughs> they were talking about John Marston, by the way, who is the main character in Red Dead 1, in case you guys didn't know that. And there's something between him and Arthur, some bad blood, but we don't know exactly what it is, except for that it has something to do with him leaving, apparently. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Big old mountain there. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Neat scenery. We made it. Beautiful. Let's loop around the other side. Yeah. Gear up. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him. So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal <gasps> like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, <laughs> if I remember right. Okay, there's a bear down there, so we got to be careful. Um, I actually have hunted rabbits in real life, and you typically do use a shotgun, just so you know. Uh, you don't have to, of course, but that is not an unusual thing to do for rabbits. Okay, let's see here. Um, horse weapons, tab. So we've got our, uh, we want to get our 22, uh, wait, where's our varmint rifle? Oh, you know what? I think maybe when the game loaded us back in, it was before we purchased the varmint rifle. Oh no, man. So that means I don't have it. Dog on it. All right. Well, I guess we'll have to use, probably the best thing to use then is going to be the bow. 
for the for the rabbit. So so this quest is supposed to introduce the player to hunting, but of course we've already been hunting quite a bit because it's so fun. Um, yeah, he's he's relieving himself. Okay, so yeah, let's hunt some rabbits here, and we just have to be careful not to uh, uh, you know get too close to where that bear is. Okay, the wind's at our back, so that's good. Man, this just looks gorgeous. We'll kind of sneak down here a bit and then check it out. It's too bad we don't still have the farmer rifle, darn it. Okay, is I think that might be a rabbit right in front of us there. Yeah, it is. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. trying to see if I, I saw it too so I was trying to see if the other one was still about but I'm not seeing it unless it's still in the right now in the brush but probably not okay thought I saw something over that way I think that said we had a, a black-tailed jackrabbit. Black-tailed uh, black jackrabbit can be found in a variety of habitats across the states. As herbivores, their diet consists of vegetarian forbs, buds, twigs, bark, and crops, which is why they are considered pests. A varmint rifle is the ideal weapon to use when hunting rabbits. Rabbit pellets can be used for crafting, and their gamey meat can be used for cooking. Okay. Bears like right up there. Okay, pick up. Wait, didn't we already pick it up? Huh, okay. I guess we um we skinned him and we picked up the the this the pelt, but we didn't pick up the rabbit. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Reckon we should camp here. Sure. Uh, Which the item wheel is like a camp. You get a set up. Okay. Yeah, we've already done a lot of this stuff, but. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit then. They're. Delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <gasps> okay, so let's do... Okay, so playing game. Cook is enter. I can't, uh, I can't move my camera to, to see. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. Okay, so I guess we can cook another one. I wish I could turn the camera so I could see him, but don't let me do it, so... All right, that's good enough. OK, 
Okay, how come it's not letting me... Whoop, no, I didn't mean to do that. I was hitting the, the button and it's not letting me get back out. I wonder if something's bugged out here because it's not letting me... Yeah, the stow button's not working. Oh, I guess I can click on it. Okay. The effects. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so let's let's do this. Minty game. You do not have enough ingredients. That requires mint, oregano, thyme. We could make thyme. Thyme game. Yeah, let's let's cook a thyme game. We're, we're not going to eat it right now because our stomach's already full, but we can save it for later, hopefully. I have to click on these to get them to work because for whatever reason the key itself isn't working. Okay, let's go back and let's look. Do we have any other recipes? Okay, we already know how to do plain. Show all. Okay. Cool. Shotgun explosives. You do not have enough ingredients. So oh so we can make we can make ammo with the campfire. That's neat. We probably are missing some kind of um equipment or something for that. No, now I can move the camera. Alright. Well we better get some rest. I wanna be up at first light to find this monster. Okay, let's sleep. He better be worth all this drama. I have a feeling like he's probably gonna be more, almost more than we can handle, but we'll see. <laughs> Morning, Arthur. You ready? No, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But... We'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. Potent predator bait. Okay, so gritty fish and blackberry is what is needed to make that. Or or evergreen huckleberry or raspberry or wintergreen berry. All right, cool. Um, yeah, let's craft it. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Hold escape uh, to exit crafting. Back up, Arthur, and let's get after him. You can use the campfire to wi uh, craft a wide variety of tonics. Or yeah, okay. Whoops. No, that's, no, that's not what I meant to do. Please. What's the hold up here? Okay, let's go. All right, one thing I want to do here is... We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where... Uh, let's make sure we have our our carbine in this slot. Yeah, and I guess we'll put the bow in that slot. I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. 
didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? <coughs> Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Easy! Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. You have entered legendary animal territory. Follow the clues to track the animal. You can find legendary animals throughout the world. Oh, cool. Okay. All right, there's something over here. Inspect. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. He sure looked big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? Press Q to focus. This way. All right, here we go. I'm a little nervous, you guys. <laughs> oh. I thought... I don't know if that sound is just ambient noise or... If it's the actual bear, but it sounds like him kind of growling over there. Tracks. Go into those trees. If you lose sight of the trail, press to... Yeah, okay. We... Well, let's just look around here. Whoops. new clue up here. <laughs> yep, exactly, Sniper. What could possibly go wrong? Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Yeah, I think that noise I'm hearing is just a, like, ambient noise. It kind of sounds like a bear, you know, growling, though. Man, this is beautiful. Right here. Bear droppings. Bear scat. Something else on the ground, just here. Bear shit here. Watch your step. Looks <laughs> real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. like the trail ends here. We lost him? <clears throat> For now. A, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? 
I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work. Which do you think? Um, let's try the bait option. Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Okay, plant the bait near the large stones. Guess we don't need to, uh, duck crouch right at the moment, since Jose is not. Okay. Select the potent predator bait and press enter to place it. Now we wait. Go to the rocks. Wait for the bear. Can I, like, climb a tree somewhere? <laughs> a thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. All hey. right. Did that bait look okay to you? It looked I think so. fine. Very expert. Ready with your gun there? Uh, I'm good. As soon as I get behind okay? a big old tree here. You seem nervous. So do you. Uh, yeah, I am. I'm fine. Okay. Let's just take a look at that bait. What? Sure. Uh, I think, is that a good idea? <laughs> we only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Uh, yeah, I mean, come on, man. We just put it down there. I don't like this. Something bad's going to happen. I just know it. Inspect. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? I told you. Oh, Easy. crap. Not too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. Can I have your gun? <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well, um, you coming or not? I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh, I'll see you back at camp. Oh, man. Yeah! I was hoping he'd give me the gun. Doggone it. All right, well, we did wound the bear, um, which is not usually a good idea, but new horses are available to purchase at the Valentine's Garden Meadows and Strawberry. Mission complete. All right, what did we What did we screw up? <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do until too late. Um, track the bear within one minute. Shoot the bear at least six times. Complete within 12 minutes. Yeah, I, I wasn't quite sure what the heck was going to happen, so... So, yeah, there you go. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's, um... Yeah, let's eat a wild carrot. It's a good idea. You now own multiple horses and can store up to three at the stables. Your previous horse has been stabled for you. Okay, so that means we do still have Tennessee. Okay, good deal. All right, well, um... Let's do this. Let's go into here and we're going to go. We got a map. Let's look at this. Legendary animals. Nothing on that side. 
Okay, cougar, pronghorn, bison, buck, bighorn, bear, moose, beaver. Those are animals of the southern United States of America. Uh, okay. So it doesn't tell us anything else beside that. Oh, okay, so they're numbered, and I'm assuming the bear up here is, is where we are, I guess? Probably that's what it is, I'm guessing. Okay. Is that a new uh, plant there? Or no, that was the wild carrot. Okay. All right, let's do this. Let's um stick around for a bit and... I, I, I'm a little nervous about hunting this thing with just this carbine here, but... I mean, we're not going to use the bow, right? Inspect broken sticks. We got a trail. Don't seem close. What we should probably do, if we had any common sense at all, is not do this now until we get a better gun. But I don't have any common sense. We did we did wound the bear a little bit, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. This is crazy. Okay, there's another clue that way. Okay, you know what? Let's pull this out and have it ready to go. When the when the game had me shoot the bear, it pulled my pistol out. I didn't do that. It it did it. So I would not have used a revolver on a bear if I Must be was able to choose myself. You know? Oh, is that it right there? I think I think that's it right up there, you guys. Yep, there he is. We're going to die horribly. <laughs> I just know it. Where's the wind going? Uh, okay, so it's kind of blowing off to our right, so we should stay to the right. A little steep, maybe? I hear a bull elk, too. <laughs> Making so much noise. Dog on trees That's right in the way. You have killed a legendary animal. Sell the pelt to the trapper who can then craft it into a unique outfit. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was <laughs> that was a bit nerve wracking. We did it though. Woo! Okay. That was a bit nerve wracking. Cause we, we used a, a full magazine on, on him, you know, with the uh <clears throat> excuse me, with the dead eye, and then we had to shoot him one more time. <laughs> I was starting to crap my pants there. 
Oh, man. Yeah, he sure did, didn't he, Wyoming? Uh, thank you, Sniper. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, like, so, like, <sighs> relieved now. Yeah, he's a mean old-looking fella, isn't he? Okay, let's get our hoss over here. And let's skin this guy. You don't got to be nervous, horse. He's dead. That is so cool, man. It's very detailed. Oh, I bet that thing is super heavy. Legendary bear pelt. Uh, our dead eye went up. Very good. Uh, when you skin or pluck an animal, you take the meat from carcass. You can cook and eat this meat out of campfire refill. Okay. So let's um, put this. Uh, yeah, actually, let's read the compendium. Okay, the legendary Barati is endemic to O'Krieg's Run in the Grizzlies East. This bear is larger than any other that has been spotted in the region. The distinctive scars across its face and body make this creature easily identifiable. As an omnivore, its diet ranges from berries, roots, and grasses to deer, elk, fish, carrion, and old guys. Long-range weapons like a long-scope rifle or a bow with improved arrows will give you the advantage when hunting this animal. Killing this animal will give you the opportunity to craft a rare talisman. Nice. Okay. Yay us. You can't harvest all this animal's parts as you have no space to sew them. Open the satchel and make space by pressing the discard on the box. Okay, well here, let's do this. Let's put the pelt on here first. <laughs> Poor horse. Okay, now can we go back and get anything from here, from the bear? Uh, no, we can't. It's set. Okay, wait a minute. Remove legendary bear pelt. I'm not trying to step on the carcass, it's just doing it. So, alright, here, let's do this. Legendary bear claw. A claw from a legendary bear can use, be used in crafting. Uh, big game meat. So, okay, so it looks like, it looks like the game put as much meat in our inventory as we can carry, but we can't carry all of it. A good rabbit pelt. The pelt of a rabbit in good condition, displaying minor damage, can be sold. Um, what's this? Just a carrot and wild carrots. Creeping time, gritty fish, our journal. All right, why don't we eat? Let's eat this. Okay. And then, um, yeah, it would be awesome, wouldn't it, if we could do the bear skull. I mean, we could toss this pelt. Here, let's let's feed the carrot to the horse. That'll free up another spot here. Okay. Uh, do we have to be closer? Oh, he, we can't feed him. I guess he's I guess he's not uh, hungry at the moment. Okay. So, we'll just eat the carrot. Well, looks like we need to uh, brush the horse, too. Okay, so now can we... How do we get more meat off the bear? It's not giving me the option to be able to do that. What's that? A sugar cube. Cube. There's room in here in the ingredients, and it seems like there's room in the materials, but it's not letting me put more, you know, it's not letting me harvest more meat off the bear is what I'm trying to say. It's not give. wait, okay, what was that? I just saw, uh, remove legendary bear pelt. No, we don't want to do that. We've got to take that back. Well, we obviously need more storage space. <laughs> I mean... There's all kinds of things we need, and that's one of them. 
Looks like that's all I can do though, guys, unfortunately. But we did get five pieces of big game meat, so that's good. I mean, we could probably sell that for quite a bit of money. Um, what's this? We got some animal fat, mature venison meat. So what we probably should do is go back to Valentine and try and sell off some of this meat. Or we could we could take it back to our camp. Maybe that would be a better thing to do. I wonder if it's possible. Uh, let's look at the horse cargo for a minute. Oh, okay, so the horse cargo is already what's on the back of the horse, which is the pelt, of course. But there isn't any way that I know of to transfer, like, say, this into um, into the horse cargo. But what we could try and do, it did say to, to remove things from the satchel. So let's try one other thing here. Let's go over here and let's get rid of this mature venison meat because it's going to go bad here pretty soon, probably. So we'll throw it out. Now does that give us room to put more bear meat in? No, it still it still isn't giving me any kind of an option for that. Huh. Okay, well, not really sure what to do about that. So uh, one thing we do need to do, though, is we need to... Um, we... We can't, we can't brush him either. So, all right, well, let's just mount up then. You must increase your bond with the new horse before it's able to perform additional actions such as rearing. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to keep this horse anyways. Um, I want, I want my Tennessee Walker back. We need to earn some more money so we can, you know, purchase a better quality horse anyway. Let's do this. Let's go into the map here and... Oak Creek's Run. This is such a neat area, man. I love it. I love it. We definitely don't want to try and do any more hunting because we don't have room for anything, right, at this point. So... That must be another place with another stables that I guess we could go to if we wanted to. And this is a another side quest with a paw on it, so it might be like another hunting thing. You know what? Let's just let's just kind of ride around a little bit and just check out the scenery. This is so neat. Yeah. Let's just kind of go up this draw a little bit and take a look around. Oh, there's a there's Oh, check it out. It's a railroad tunnel. That's interesting. Okay, there. Is this a new... Yeah, this is a new uh, plant. Ginseng! Compendium updated. Let's take a look and see what it has to say about this. Alaskan ginseng shrubs can be in identified by their large palmate leaves, thorny stems, and small red fruits. The clusters of berries can be found growing at the top of the plant. These plants are usually found in forests and moist areas growing across Amberino and northern West Elizabeth. The, this medicinal plant can be grafted into medicine or consumed to replenish your health core. Very nice. Okay, cool. You thought you heard a train when I was skinning the bear? Yeah, it could be. I don't know. I was preoccupied with skinning the bear, so <laughs> I didn't notice. Oh, man, this is so cool. I mean, you could you could play this game for hours and do nothing but just enjoy the scenery, you know? I mean, I could anyway. What happens if we go in here? I wonder if... Let's just do a little bit of exploration. Okay. Somebody was telling me in the comments that there's there's places all around the world 
with like treasure and stuff. And if if you find everything, it's something like twelve thousand dollars worth of stuff. So it might be worth our while just to kind of explore some of these places. I don't know how far back this tunnel goes, but looks like it goes back quite a ways. I wonder if we should go back and get the horse. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go get the horse. Hopefully a train doesn't come through, but if it does, as long as we stay all the way up against the wall, I think we'll be okay. No. Oh. <laughs> Come on, boy. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Let's just kind of follow this tunnel for a bit and see what happens. It's like there's a little texture glitch there or something. A little scene. It is dark in here, man. This reminds me of Metro. <laughs> One of my all-time favorite games, by the way. Love those games. I've played uh, uh, the first Metro and Metro Last Light twice. And then, of course, when the, when the third game came out about, what is it, about a year and a half ago? I uh, played that too, just really enjoyed it. Man, how long does this tunnel go for? If we stop and look back, can we see the light at the end of the tunnel? Yeah, it's back there. Let's pick up the pace a little bit. Hopefully we don't like break our horse's neck or our own. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we couldn't see it because it was around a bend. I, yeah, I never noticed the train at all when we were dealing with the bear. Okay, so let's take a look at our go. map and see where we're at. So we came out through this way. Valentine's not too far away. Well, since we have a very valuable bear pelt uh, on our horse, we should pr we probably might want to get back. <laughs> Um, so let's go ahead and, um, whoops, let's go ahead and waypoint Valentine. I don't want that up right now. Cumberland Forest. And, yeah, we'll go through the Cumberland Forest. Let's do it. Oh, I hear a train. I wonder, though, if we should... If we should have run along the other side of the tunnel, because we might have missed something, you know? It says we need to brush our horse, but when I tried to do it earlier, it wasn't letting me do it, so... Let's just try it now and see if it'll let us do it. Because we have a brush. Remember that we got one from uh, the stable guy? Yeah, here we go. This will help us bond with him. That's it? Yeah. I think we need to brush them some more. He's not a bad looking horse, I guess. Ah, oh, sorry, boy. <laughs> we'll give him an oat cake. Uh, 
Let's do uh, uh, the study thing. Show info. We'll we'll have to compare them with the with the Tennessee when we get back. Okay. I'm trying to hear if that train's coming or not. I don't think it is. Okay, let's just quickly um, ride along the um, the other side of this tunnel, just in case we might have missed something, like a side room or something. And then we'll head back to Valentine. One of the things we're going to do in this playthrough, you guys, is we're going to take our time and we're just going to enjoy the game. We're not going to just do one quest right after the other, so... I hope that's cool with everybody, but that's the way I'm playing this game, because that's what you got to do with a game like this. There's no point in speedrunning it. you got to enjoy it, man. One of the best games ever ever made so far, I think. But I'm not seeing anything. here I kind of want to go back down around that lake on the way back too just to check it out again because it's so cool looking yeah <laughs> they'll be writing country songs about me leaving Tennessee exactly well I once had a horse named Tennessee and I loved him so and then I had this quest that told me that I had to go buy myself a Morgan horse and leave poor old Tennessee. And now he's back at camp and he's wondering what happened to me. <laughs> there you go. How's that, man? That's an, that's our new sing, uh, uh, country hit single song there. You guys didn't know Arthur Morgan could sing, did you? What in the hell is that little vermin? All right, let's go back down by the lake. Uh, just to kind of look around a little bit more. I wonder if that bear carcass is still there. Where? Oh, yep, it is still there. I've got a Morgan horse, yep. <laughs> Gold record on the way, right, exactly. <laughs> yep. Giddy up. There's an elk bugling around here. Maybe we'll go hunting for them later. There's a bunny. Isn't this pretty, you guys? This is so cool. I love this lake in particular. I wish that I wish we could like build our own home in the game. Then we could build a place along the lake. Speaking of which. There is a little cabin over there. Let's go. Let's go check that out. Yeah. Easy now. Are those like uh Those must be like salmon. Cool, man. We yeah. probably don't want to get this bear pelt wet. Hello? Oh. Easy. easy. Where's she at? Won't anyone help me? I'm trapped. Please, someone, please. Ugh. Okay, hold on. Let's 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 get let's get ready here. Someone? Where's she at? I'm coming. Oh, there she is. Oh, is this... This isn't a setup, is it? No, it doesn't look like a setup, but of course setups aren't My supposed to look like they're numb. setups. Please hurry. She does kind of look well, like she's in bad shape, huh? Going to help? What happened? 
My horse collapsed. I, I, I don't know why. It's my friends. Okay, do we trust her? I'm trapped here. Why aren't you helping? Uh, okay, okay. We're, we'll help you. I'll see what I can do. Just remember, if this is a setup, I got eagle eye, and I'll bet your bad guys don't. Yes. Seriously, yes. I'm lifting Just this horse? Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank whoa, you. You whoa, saved sure. me. Oh, that was bad. Okay. Sure. Uh... I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Yeah, you could have. There was a big old oh, bear around here you earlier. Poor dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Okay. Well, um take, thank you. take home? Like oh no, take you her need to her, her home. home ma'am. <laughs> it's like oh, yes. you want me to pick Mr. up? I don't know. What the heck? Thank you. I live over in Annisburg. Um, no problem. How are we going to take her home with that big old bear pelt on the back of our horse, though? Uh, that might be interesting. We'll need to go on a horse. Uh, my leg can't handle the walk. Um, hey, does your horse have anything I can loot? Hello. Nope. Howdy, sir. We could shoot this guy and take his horse. <laughs> Bear pelt first come back for her? Will she is will she still be here? Never um, mind. I'll find oh, my own way. Yeah, I'm sorry, ma'am, but you <laughs> probably need to find your own way. She's limping. Okay, well, I would have taken you if I could have. I apologize, but uh we're kinda we kinda have a big old uh, legendary bear pelt on the back of the horse and as much as I think you're a fine woman and all that we ain't giving up our bear pelt <laughs> it's hilarious. oh man we really probably should get this thing back and quit screwing around before something else bad happens and we lose it right okay boy let's go <laughs> i i, I want to go check out that cabin though you know what that little island out there in the middle of the lake looks like a place where there could be some treasure it really does it's just that we're so doggone far away from Valentine, I don't want to go all the way back there and come all the way back here. Whoa, okay, here. Easy. We're just going to take a quick look, you guys. <laughs> I hope there aren't any uh, Loch Ness monsters or anything in this lake. Can we dive down? Oh, stamina. Uh, hurry, hurry. We don't want to drown. Man, Arthur's not very good at swimming, is he? Holy crap, that was a little scary. Okay, we need to get some stamina core back here. Um, Let's fully restore stamina and fortify slightly. Yeah, we better take one of those. Okay, it didn't do anything for our core, though. Uh, so... Holy Star's health, stamina, and dead eye, and fortifies slightly. Stamina fortifies. I'm looking for stuff that will restore the stamina core. We might have to eat. Yeah, let's have some beans. Okay, that got half of our core back. Uh, we probably better do a little more, though. Slight restores health core and moderately restores dead eye. No, we don't need to do that. Well, actually, we kind of... Do we? Sort of, but let's... um. Uh, moderately restores health core and slight restores stamina core. Yeah, let's eat that. Well, that didn't give us very much, did it? Okay, well, here. Um, we're going to find treasure on this place. I just know it. I just know it. We have to. Don't fall off, Arthur. You can't swim worth a crap. Good. 
Is there something down there? No, not that I can see. I mean, come on, you guys. This looks like a place where there should be a treasure, right? Or something hidden? See anything in the in the brush there? Well, it was worth checking. Yeah, <laughs> I know you try swimming and all that gear exactly. Wait till I start to swim in Valheim. Yeah, we'll fire that up at some point, Varg. At some point, I just I got too much else going on right now to to do it, but we will. So I think what I'm gonna do, we gotta kinda be careful coming down here. Okay, so we just need to head straight for that point there. Our stamina level went up, so that's good. Oh, hurry, 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 hurry. Come on, Arthur. You're almost there, buddy. <laughs> oh, crap. Whew. We got this. Dang. That's not that far. Well, remind me not to uh, go on a long swim somewhere. At least not until we get some really high stamina. Oh, hey, we got a new plant. What is it? Burdock root. I thought we already found burdock root. Maybe, maybe we hadn't found it before we did the the reload or something. I don't know. Okay. Well, anyway, another another plant. Yeah, we definitely had found bulrushes before too. So I think we must have lost. Uh, definitely lost some progress. Eat a bulrush? Seriously? What's it say about that? Uh, the plant is poisonous to humans, so it should never be consumed, though it can be used in crafting a horse ointment. It's probably a good thing we didn't eat a bulrush, I'm thinking. Also known as a cattail. I've never heard of anybody eating cattails. All right, well, it's dark, so we should probably set up camp, and this is as good a as, good as spot as any, I think. Every time I try to set up camp near water, though, it moves me somewhere else. Well, let's just see what it does here. No, oh, this. Oh, okay. Looks like it kept us here. That's good. All right. Well, um, do I don't know that we actually need to eat anything. Let's take a look at our crafting menu. So, plain big game. Plain game. Uh, okay, F for show all. I think after that cold swim, we should probably make ourselves some coffee. Because, you know, drinking coffee right before you go to sleep is a good idea. We're cowboys, man. We can handle it. This should give us some stamina core back anyways, because it's warm and it's caffeinated. Yep, there it goes. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. Um, let's see. What else do we got going on here? Plain game. This is the other rabbit. We probably need to cook that fairly soon. I don't want to cook the big game meat. I think I want to save that either to sell or... 
to take back to our camp. So, yeah, we don't really need to eat. I think we're in good shape. Uh, so let's go ahead and sleep until morning. Set up tent. I don't think we need to set up the tent. I think we're good here. We'll just sleep out under the stars. Okay, Freckles, you keep watch. Make sure no legendary bears sneak up on us while we're sleeping, because, you know, there could be another one. There's no rule that says there can only be one legendary bear, right? A new journal entry. Um, oh, yeah, you know what? We haven't actually read our journal for a bit, have we? So let's um, rest by the fire. We do need to have some coffee because it's morning. Check this out. Drinking in first person. <laughs> this looks so cool. It's the little things, right? It's the little things. Alright, so what we're going to do now is, before we wrap up this episode, we're going to just um, check our journal out. Because we haven't updated it for a bit. Uh, Alright. Journal. Let's check it out. I know. Isn't it cool that they do that? Welcome back, Adras. Good to see you, buddy. Okay, so um, we got to figure out what, where we're at with this. Because we've, okay, so we've already read, I think we've already read part of Horseshoe Overlook. Pretty sure we have. These are the, uh, the plants that we just found. So whenever Arthur finds a new um, plant, he does a sketch of it, which is cool. And there's the sketch of the bar that we just killed. Isn't that neat, man? <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, we got some text to read there. I think I'm, um, somehow or another I got to the end of it. Okay, here, let's just do it this way. Let's go back to the other chapter, Horseshoe Overlook. All right, now, we'll turn to first page. That shows us resting in our bed with our boots. Oh, man, I just love this, you guys. Uh, I think we already read this, though. Uh, at least this page. Yeah, we've, we've already read that. Creeping time. The turkeys that we killed. The horse there. Now, I think this is new. I don't think we've read this, so let's read this. All right, headed into Valentine with Uncle and the girls. The girls went scouting out work while Uncle and I had a few drinks, and he explained more of his theories on existence and barefaced lies about his past. <laughs> Things took a strange turn. Some fella seemed to recognize me or us from Blackwater. Guess we had been holed up there too long while Jose and I scouted the job that never was. I chased the bastard. I might have read this already, but let's just let's just keep going. I think maybe I did, but I can't remember for sure. So, uh, all right, read. And he nearly fell off a cliff. I spared him, and he gave me an ink pen. I hope I won't regret my leniency, but I reckon I got. Uh, I reckon he got the scare of his life. Jimmy Brooks was his name, and I will remember that. I got a good memory. Remember he said that. Okay. Wild carrots, horses, rabbits. Um, and let's read this. Took a day off and went off hunting with Hosea. So this is definitely new. Uh, he really seems to be getting his strength back a bunch. Although he was lucky not to die as this big bear he'd been after turned on us. I thought when we were stuck up in the mountains that the cold and the misery would kill him and we'd bury him like we buried Jenny and Davy. But he pulled through and he'll live a while yet. I love Dutch like a father, but in many ways I love Hosea even more. He's kind and fair and like a human being. Dutch is something else. This bear was also something else. Size of a goddamn hotel and it was mean with it. Yes, it was. Size of a hotel. There he is. There's the plants we picked. Okay, so we've already seen this, and I think that's it for our journal. All right, cool. All right, guys. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. And uh, just like before, we'll pick up right where we left off um, in the next episode and work our way back to Valentine. We've got to get this bear pelt turned in before something else crazy happens. We might 
we might have to take just a little detour over to that cabin and just check it out since it's right there. And then after that, we won't get sidetracked anymore until we get to Valentine. Maybe. <laughs> All right, you guys. There's too much of this game to get sidetracked with. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Share the video. And I uh, just wanted to uh, let you know that I am planning on streaming uh, on the weekends, Red Dead on Saturdays, maybe even on Sundays, uh, moving forward for the next couple of months. So if you want to come and check out, check out on the stream and hang out with me and everybody else, we'd love to have you. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.